Hi, my name is Joel. I'm a volunteer for Exclusively Mongrels and I've been a foster for them for about 3 months. Hi, I'm Jamie and I'm also a volunteer at Exclusively Mongrels for about a year and I also started fostering about 3-4 to four months ago. Hi, I'm John. I'm the transporter for Exclusively Mongrels. dogs when they are officially adopted and you see how they've adjusted from how scared and timid they were now they are loving they are very active they are happy you, you can see the difference and it's just very rewarding I actually started out as a volunteer mainly at Adoption Drive I only picked up fostering because I was really inspired by the other volunteers that were long-time fosterers for EM and I've seen them nurture so many dogs from like timid dogs to really confident ones and to their forever homes and I felt that I could do something more. The recent experience I had was this dog that we rescued from uh, one of the factories in Pioneer Road. It was supposedly a very fierce dog that was aggressive. But when I went to the factory, the workers there were like, be careful, be careful, he will bite you. So I let them handle him before taking over when he was on the leash. I brought him for a walk and I found that he was actually quite good. So I took him in the van and throughout the whole journey he just sat down beside me and just leaned on me. So after he was adopted, I haven't seen him for a few months. Last November, I bumped into him at an adoption drive. I was playing with another dog and then suddenly, out of nowhere, this big hairy dog comes there and starts licking my face. And I was like, oh, it's you. So he remembered who brought him back and he was like, you're my friend, you brought me back out of this mess. is actually important because it helps to domesticate the dogs before they actually um, are released to the potential doctor's homes. Many of the dogs that we bail out from ABA have been living on the streets or you know, they have never ever known what living in a home is like so um, it can be very different like the environment most of them are very stressed out the moment they enter a home so fostering helps them to like get used to living in a home as compared to shelter dogs. Shelters in Singapore, most of the dogs are kept in cages. They are moved from the street and the humans are catching them to be put into cages. It's not a very good experience for them because they associate humans with being trapped. That's why it makes it harder for them to get to home because they have to be on good terms with humans. That's why we believe that if they are in a foster home, they'll definitely be able to adapt more quickly and they'll be more comfortable because they have already been domesticated. <laughs> One of the highlights of this work is when the dogs greet you. If you haven't seen them for a few months, they've been adopted. And then one day if you happen to meet them in the park or at the vet, you get a greeting that is just awesome. Because they will recognize you, they will remember you, and they will run to you. belly rub or something because they will really appreciate it. <laughs>